Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Marwell Machinery. My name is Mike Marwell, owner and proprietor of Marwell Machinery. And you join me here for a first time for a very special. You are in my dealership here. Uh, we are going to take you through what is a brand new arrival to our yard. Uh, something that we're truly um, excited to have on board. A uh, bit of a backstory here. This has been a family run dealership for many years, uh, usually specializing in used equipment. However, in the last five years, we have taken on board the class franchise uh, where we deal exclusively brand new class Aryan Axion uh, tractors and equipment where necessary to the local region. Uh, we do sell secondhand John Deere equipment, hence this monster, uh, hence the sign up on the walls there. We have yet to get round to sticking a class badge on there, but it is coming, don't you worry about that. As you can see across my forecourt, we have a variety of old and uh, new equipment couple of lovely old vent tractors if you ever want some reliable power. Uh, a great set of rakes, a uh, Joskin trailer and some good condition, uh, used but good conditioned uh, cultivation equipment. Uh, if any of those grab your eye, don't forget to check out our website, come in and see me, ask the mic, we'll see what we can do. Here is our line of Arions and Axions, uh, beautiful tractors, really, really stunning. I can find you a class tractor that will fit your needs, you just need to come in and see me and we'll have a chat. But today, we're going to look into something a little bit different indeed. I am over the moon to announce we've been working hard to uh, ascertain and to uh, secure another franchise, another machinery dealership here, uh, and that's exactly what we've done. We are now exclusive partners with Anderson Group. Uh, now, the Anderson Group uh, and ourselves here at Marwell Machinery are delighted to be able to offer you their entire range of bale handling, cattle feeding uh, equipment, and also a little bit of diversity into the bio balers as well. We're gonna get onto those ones in a little while. So let's have a look at the, some of the products that we can offer you here today. We're gonna to start with silage crucial crucial element of any cattle operation uh, and we've brought something over that's very common and very popular in the North American market something that's not yet quite as big over here but can no doubt get to that stage we are of course talking about inline wrappers I can give you both round or square bale wrappers today uh, we're gonna start looking at this one this is the round the square bale beg your pardon the hybrid X extractor this can wrap up as uh, your typical size uh, four by four square bales uh, and we'll wrap these into one continuous bale uh, there in situ in the field you can even bring it back to the yard and do it in the yard as well whatever you like load of fed at the front there automatically coming through and pushing through as it goes so this will allow for one continuous operation and allow you to proceed with a quick and efficient harvest likewise for this model here this is our uh, Anderson IFX 720 extractor. This is the round bale inline wrapper, much the same as the square. Round, loader fed at this front end here. Uh, we have an orbital wrapper system that goes around the bales and the bales slowly feed down into one line. You can make them as long or as short as you want. The mobility here, very easy. Just uh, attach it to your tractor and take it to wherever in situ you need to be. Once done, set it away there and it's a one man job to wrap very very easy for any farmer who needs it uh, we do of course accommodate uh, bedding as well we have uh, a bale chopper shredder here this is the pro chop 150 round bales only uh, with a rear shoot on the back for loading purposes you can load bales into that you can see we've got our serrated knives and a walking floor to ensure that the bale is fed evenly in chopped up and distributed to the robotic arm uh, allowing for a very fine and efficient bedding of cattle, allowing you to extend that usage of your straw, make one bale go much further than ever before. Fine chopped straw as we know is better for absorption, uh, more moisture, more liquid is absorbed per bale, more bales are, um, mean more straw, last longer, much more efficient. Uh, but you've made your bales are in the field, you need to get them off that field, you need to get them into your yard as quickly as possible and that is where this next selection come into. We're looking at round bale stackers here. Uh, we are, look, this is our first uh, array of auto load stackers that we brought into Marwell Machinery. Uh, we've got, we can cater for all needs, round bale straw, round bale hay, or in this particular case, round bale silage as well. We have a silage bale grab on the front, automatically loads the bales, two at the bottom and one on the top. Uh, when you get three, it pushes them down into the uh, secondary position where we can begin again, ultimately allowing you to complete a full bale trail load of wrap bales, uh, securely bringing them back to the yard without any damage or any potential for damage uh, before ejecting them all off the bottom into their 
um, into their stack. Allows for a very quick clearing of the field. You can bring them back to the yard, you can stack them in situ in the yard as I mentioned there, and you're never really gonna have to uh, require a loader again. Uh, so this uh, brings along extra versatility. Likewise for square bales. Uh, this grab here allows us to uh, pick and stack square bales uh, silage, also allows us to pick and stack square bales straw, and hey, uh, we can go too high and it'll stack it up nicely for you, bringing it back. This is a heavy machine, you will want to put some power into this at the front end, you're going to want a big tractor, maybe a nice class axiom 940 to keep the weight down and keep control of it, because this will want to boss your tractor around, so make sure you have that all covered. Uh, as you can see, this PTO fed to drive the oil flow through the, the machine, uh, but other than that, it is all very simple. Plugs into your uh, into the computer on whatever tractor you may use, so it allows you to be autonomous where possible. Uh, and then finally, over here behind me, we have the single round bale wrapper. Uh, this is the RB580, uh, quite common over here in the UK, various different styles of this one, and this is no exception. Allows you to uh, wrap one bale at a time, very quick, uh, allows this to get done in less than a minute to wrap a complete bale before tipping it onto its side so it can't roll away on the field. Once tipped onto its side, it's in a perfect position to be collected by a, a grab such as this one, uh, allowing you to really streamline your operations. Our penultimate uh, range here for us to look into this evening is a fantastic set of dietary feeders. Um, diet feeding for your dairy cattle is absolutely um, pivotal in ensuring that your cattle are fed to their best quality diet, allowing for the premium uh, premium output, highest quality uh, milk, uh, best, ultimately best price, best quotas for your dairy operation. Uh, we have two feeders here available right now. We've got the A700, uh, which is this one. This has uh, two rotors inside of it, uh, with two options for belt, belt feed distribution at the very front. We're just going to take a quick look up here. There you go. Three rotors in this one. Beg your pardon, we're looking at the wrong one there. Uh, this is the A950. Three rotors. Massive, massive maximum capacity here. Uh, if you are a owner of a large dairy herd, you want to be able to fill it once and get the job done. This will allow you to do that. It's going to take some power. It's going to need a little bit of grunt there to uh, drive the, the three rotors, especially when the load is full. But you know that once you set it away there, it is going to complete the job in one go. We have got a gauge measurement on the side to show you how uh, open the chute is so you can control the variable flow. Um, and we have variable flow rates that you can adjust from your tractor as well for the hydraulic pressure and flow. Uh, its little sister over here is of course the A700, a similar concept, just a little bit smaller here. Uh, scales on the side there, variable flow rate on discharge chute. And as we climb up, there you go, we can see the exact same principle inside, just that little bit smaller. Serrated teeth on the edge of the rotors to allow for a clean precise fine chop of the material that is going into there. And that is it for our cattle range and for our livestock and uh, arable range. We're moving on to the renewable uh, biomass farmer inside you. If you are looking to get into this market and why wouldn't you folks, it's looking like a great time to do so, look no further than the Anderson Bio Baler. This is a Bio Baler WB55, it's a round baler. This is a rugged bale, it does require a lot of power. This is about 200 horsepower minimum recommended rating to, uh, to be operated. It does allow for the, uh, the kind of flail mower inside there to work at its hardest. That will bend, destroy and chop up any biomass, uh, biomaterial before pushing it up into the hopper where it is compression to a round bale uh, before being discharged out the back like your normal baler will really. Uh, once done, that will allow you to be able to uh, transport these to any of the local BGAs that are cropping up in and around the area. We have a couple of big ones here that are shouting out for uh, the supply that this would be able to produce. Uh, like I say, roughly 200 horsepower required. You're going to need some grunt to pull it. You're also going to need something on the front end just to make sure that you can deflect any, uh, any willow or uh, whatever your material you are chopping to get it out of the way. Uh, but it works like a charm. We do offer a demonstration of this should you have small quantities of land that you want to have a look into. That is not a problem. Uh, preferably something a crop like poplars would be equally good. It would allow you to get cracking pretty quickly as well. 
uh, and it will run through that for days. Um, if you have any inquiries about any of these vehicles that you see here, uh, we are always happy to bring out any of the Anderson and class equipment for a demonstration. Uh, feel free just to contact us in the links below, check out our website Marvel Machinery and you will see exactly what we have on stock. Uh, should you have any equipment that you would like us to come and have a look at, uh, anything that you would like us to, um, to sell, to trade in, we're always available to discuss any options. If you want to come and check out our class Torian, we have one available right now as well. Uh, and hey, some cheap John Deere metal always goes far. Don't forget, the name is Mike, you can come and find us here, Marwell Machinery, we'll be glad to help you out.